Here we go, guys. We are going to dig into the 82 Yamaha Virago carburetors. This is the 920, the XV920. These things are a mess. And I wasn't going to touch them, but I've had some requests to check them out. The, the butterfly valves are stuck. The slides are stuck. So we're going to open them up just to see what's on the inside of a bike that's been sitting for years. I believe it was sitting outside because what is that? I got something. Water? I don't know what that is. But yeah, everything's stuck. The slides are rock solid. So uh, yeah, I wasn't going to open these up, but I've had requests to do it. So why not indulge the watchers and uh, see what we got here? This could be water. I don't know. This thing sat out for a long time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab my vice grips. I do not ever trust trying to open up these screws with a screwdriver. Because typically you're just going to strip them out because you're fighting these things really bad. And it's usually easier just to put a vice grips on the outside. And that gives a good, good bite and you can pull them off. So obviously... I thought about running this through uh, a ultrasonic cleaner just to clean it up, even with all the rubber stuff attached. I know that's not what you should do, but I don't know that this is going to come apart very easily. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we got here. Let's see what we've got. This is a mess. I don't know that I can get my vice grips in on that screw. This is a bracket that I think could come off. This bracket goes from here to here. So it looks like I could take that off. Then I might be able to get a vice grips on the inner screw. But look how rusty that one is. That's, uh, I don't know. I like that it has a longer slot. Maybe I can get it off without stripping it. We're going to see what we can do. Let's well, try. Well, there's a first for everything. Never in my life have I gone around a set of carbs that look this bad. And every single screw, top and bottom, broke free with just a simple twist. Unbelievable. None of the, none of the screws are beat. Um, I did use a vice grips on the bottom, but they were coming free so easily that I just used a screwdriver on the top. Everything came free. Amazing. I don't know that we can say that for the inside, that it's amazing. But at least for now, we're doing good. I don't even know. Uh, well, make sure everything comes off in the right order. And you know where to put it in the end. So we're going to inspect the top first because that's where we are. This is beautiful. Look at this metal. I mean, when you take stuff apart, it's dirty on the outside for sure. And uh, I do need to get an ultrasonic cleaner. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I was told to buy one off of Amazon, and uh, that's probably the way I'll go if nobody gives me rep recommendations. Look how clean this is under the bracket, guys. This is beautiful. Moment of truth. I don't know. I'll probably have to pry this off. I'm sure the boots are going to be destroyed, but I'm already surprised at how easily this is coming off. So, this is amazing. And uh, I will show you what it looks like underneath as soon as I get these off. For right now, like I said, everything is seized up, so we have to take this off. I was going to sell this as, you know, as a whole. But everybody wanted to see inside, so we're going to do that. Whoop! There's a bracket. Um, there is trash. Don't need that. Uh, so everyone wants to see what these things look like inside. And I should go back to the bike and look at the how long this was sitting. Um, story on this 920 Virago was uh, previous owner died. I do have a title to it. I have torn it all down and it's being parted out. But if you need any parts, let me know. I might still have it. If not, I'm sorry. But I, I have a title. It's just not in my name. Um, the previous owner was deceased and couldn't sign off on it, but it is a Pennsylvania title. So I'm going to get these off. looks like I need a little encouragement 
and then uh, I'll be back with you once I have the lids oh, off. Oh man, I opened these up and I smell gas. It's terrible, terrible gas smell. So look at this. This is absolutely disgusting. That one popped up, popped off. Looks actually pretty nice. Um, I bet if I ran that through a ultrasonic cleaner, it would be perfect. Boot, I haven't really looked at, but it looks like it's in shape. Beautiful. And uh, everything should probably be okay. This side... <clears throat> this side looks weird. <laughs> I don't know what this is. There's like white. First of all, the spring is stuck to the lid. There's some odd looking... Uh, I guess rust gas sediment. That looks really strange. So anyway, we could run this through the ultrasonic cleaner, clean it all up. And uh, again, the boot looks to be in good shape. It's actually not bad. No rips or tears. I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't have a bike to make this run. I tw tore it all apart. So anyway, that's the top end. I don't know if we can get the needle out. If we can get the needle out, maybe we can make the slides move. So anyway, that's what I found on the top end. Let's see what's on the bottom end. All right, well, it's good the top end looked good because the bottom definitely had gas fuel in it. I don't even want to touch it. Our floats are stuck. Our jets are plugged with disgusting nastiness. I can't even tell what what's going on there. And that's the one side. The second side. Oh, it smells terrible. So that's what that bowl looks like. Ugh, that's disgusting. Uh, this bowl actually doesn't look nearly as bad. But it does have the black junk that we are seeing with ethanol gas but we have our main jets and our pilot jets and they're completely covered in grossness so there's the bowl for that side you're definitely going to need to replace the gasket because it tore that's not a big deal actually look at that it's completely one piece so it's not sticking at all that's actually good and you don't have to pick it all out. There you go. Got it off for you, mainly. There's a little bit of junk stuck there, but these these pretty much need to run through an ultrasonic cleaner. To be perfect, I wouldn't trust running them unless you do that. So get yourself a set of gaskets if you're going to buy these. And run them through an ultrasonic cleaner after everything's disassembled, of course. See, there's your gasket. That's coming up nicely. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess they're salvageable. We definitely need to get the slides unstuck and the, there, look at that. I can pull that out. Check that out. There's your gasket. No big deal there. Gasket's out. Ugh. Oh, this smells terrible. I'm sorry you can't smell this, or maybe you're happy that you can't, but, ugh, like I said, I don't want to touch this. This is all disgusting. I don't know what all you're going to have to replace. There's a clip in there. That's going to... Ugh. Okay. Actually, no, this one sees too. So there you go. There's your mains and there's your pilot. There's your mains and there's your pilot. That all needs to come out, get cleaned. So this bike was not going to run on these carbs, that's for sure. But being that the uh, top end looked like that, that one probably was fine. But there's your top and bottom. Just so you know, if you buy these carbs, I don't know. They could probably run again. They just need some work. Definitely cleaning, loosening up the slides. Well, uh, I'll try to pull these out for you. 
see what we got going in there. Maybe I can pull the slide or the uh, needle out. Anyway. All right, well, I got the cap off and the spring out of the top end, but all that stuff's kind of seized down in there. So I don't know how far I should go with this thing. Should I clean it up? Throw it in an ultrasonic cleaner, which I don't have, need to buy. Recommendations appreciated. Or should I just sell it as is? Somebody can take it the whole way for me. Well, for them. But, yep, slides are stuck. Butterfly valves are stuck. Rubber looks to be in good condition, but I don't know if I'd trust it. It actually, it's probably fine. Um... And uh, yeah, the bottom looks, tops looks like this. Bottom looks like this. And uh, you can have your way with it if you buy them. So good luck to whoever buys these. Maybe I'll do another video cleaning them, show you what it looks like, but maybe not. This is the 920 Virago. And uh, I bet with the good cleaning, she would look half decent and probably run great for your bike. So there you go. That's what we found. <gasps> junk in the bowl, junk, major junk in this bowl. And uh, I'll put it back together. If anybody wants more, let me know. If you want to buy it as is, let me know. The throttle is stuck, but I'm sure you could loosen it up. But uh, at this point, that's where it sets. So thanks for watching. Get you a good look at the carburetors on the 920 Virago. And uh, look, it's still dripping something out of there. There's no gas left in it, just junk. Leftover junk. So there you go. I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Get out and ride.